Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a panorama from several shots. Now, these shots here are taken downtown at Falls Park, and I want you to know that each shot overlaps the previous shot by about 40%. That's about the minimum amount of overlap you need to make sure that Photoshop does a good job putting it all together. So anyway, what I'm going to do is make this into a panorama. So let's go ahead and highlight them all, and then say Tools, Photoshop and Photo Merge. Now what Photo Merge is going to do is put them all together in one layered document and arrange them. And so Photo Merge has been around for a long time. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to use these files and click OK. It's going to spend some time aligning uh, it takes a little while to arrange them all. You can see that they're all lined up and cut off. And what they'll do is they'll mask the layers so that they blend seamlessly together. It's pretty effective. Now when you're complete, uh, you can choose to crop the image. Um, if you're going to do that, I suggest merging the layers together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and right click on my layers and click Merge Layers so it's all in one layer. And uh, what you could do is simply move to your crop tool and just take it down in a little bit up and say OK. Now, if you want to extend it up, we probably could get away with that, even though like there's no data over here in the corner. Not a big deal, because what we can do is fill that in using a content aware fill. It might do OK down here, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to let it cut off at the bottom there. So I'm going to click uh, Check here and check that off. I'm going to go to my magic wand tool and select out here in the top and uh, let's see I'm probably going to remove this part from my selection so I'm going to use my rectangular marquee. I'm going to hold down alt and subtract the bottom here and I'm probably going to also add in this top over on this side as well. Do the same on the left alt rectangular marquee and deselect that. And I'm going to say edit fill and we'll tell it to fill with content aware click OK it'll take a moment to process and there we have it filled and I think what I need to do is just go ahead and crop the left and right side so I can cut off that little edge so I'm gonna go to my crop again and just move it in here it's kinda of snapping I'm gonna turn off snap so I can take it in a little bit easier. There you go. And uh, a little bit on this side, right like that. All right. And then I'll go ahead and check that off. All right. And now when you look at your picture, you end up with a nice panorama. It goes all the way over to the right and shows the entire Falls Park. 